Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in again. And um, this is me behind the pendulum. We're gonna do another free group SRT clearing today and it's gonna be on poverty, clearing poverty beliefs. Um, so let's get stuck in. Let's just pull this down so you can see the charts rather than looking at my ugly face there, eh? Don't wanna look at that when you can look at these lovely charts. <laughs> Um, so let's see, what's that poverty running at? 0% positive, 100% negative as usual for a group clearing. And where's it sitting in terms of consciousness? And we're looking at mental consciousness. So I'm just going to ask the God team that I'm working with once again to do an initial clearing on poverty, beliefs of poverty, attachment, emotional attachments to poverty, any programming of poverty and raising up to 100 positive down to zero negative exactly where we want it to be and raising it from mental consciousness all the way up to radiant love new paradigm level and if you've uh, listened to the others clearings you'll know whereabouts we are in terms of mental consciousness where we're down here at this level this incarnational level we want to be all the way up there and all the way up there um to radiant love new paradigm level as an absolute minimum on this so we're clearing away the programs i'm working with the teams on their side of life the other side of life they have about 200 plus charts and they're clearing away and i can feel it i feel it very intuitively when i work so this is a fantastic system um devised by robert e detzler um so he has uh, he has the books the freedom path soul rec recreation uh, and also there's a spiritual healing book as well um, so you can get a lot of in-depth information about this system and about spirituality in general it's based on the bible the old testament and the new testament but the proper spiritual meanings of um of some of the things that are mentioned in the bible so Bible's full of stories and metaphors and uh, incredible wisdom within it. So um, you're going to learn a lot from, from these things. Right, okay. So where are we going first? Chart 6A. So uh, 6A is Master Programs, Discordant Energy. We've got inside left. So we're looking at betrayal. Anything else? No, does it have past life roots, ancestral roots? Yeah, well, let's just clear uh, all Master Programs and Discordant Energy of betrayal here. Again, I'm not going to go into any depth here because this is a group clearing for YouTube. And um, if this was a personal clearing, I'd be asking some questions to see whether we need to do any research into any other lifetimes about that quite often it's a no we don't need to do any further research but um sometimes we do so we're just clearing away any poverty beliefs through um, any master programs of betrayal any discordant energy of betrayal there we go so i hope you remember to set your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing for your highest good uh at the start of this i forgot to remind you but uh Hopefully you'll remember if you see my other videos. Inside left, we have blocks to endurance. Anything else? So let's clear all blocks to endurance. These are blocks to positive expression. So we're clearing that away as well. Wonderful. And this should last around 15 minutes. Some of them have been lasting a lot longer, some of these group clearings. We never know how many people are going to join us on a group clearing. It's done at a quantum level, so it doesn't matter when you join, whenever you view this and you don't have to understand it to accept the healing you just have to set the intention to receive the healing that's being done individual clearings that are done more personal clearings my srt clearing package which is available on my website is uh is much more it's much more in depth and much more individual and very powerful very very powerful um clearings it really strips away the the layers of stuff so let's see that's good i can feel that slowing down now 
So where are we going next? We're going straight to ooh, 10A. 10A, which is uh, miscellaneous blocks, a God level consciousness, anything on the inside. So we're looking at subconscious clutter, blocked chakras here, blocks and interference. It used to be decaying universe, but it's changed in recent years. Anything else on the outside? No, do we need to investigate blocks interference? Are you able to clear those from where you are? So let's clear all of that subconscious clutter. Clearing away the blocked chakras for anybody that's watching that may be having holding blocked chakras connecting to fueling that sense of poverty at the subconscious level. Clearing all blocks and interference away at God consciousness level there for whoever's watching this right now for their highest good. So that's clearing away nicely. If you like breaking into song again, it's been a while. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Right, lovely. Okay, where are we going next? We are going to chart 12, which is uh, spirit energy programming. So this is a queen of life level of consciousness. So we've got dysfunction of creative energy by emotions, dysfunction of God consciousness at spirit level. We're not going to do any more research into that because it's a group clearing. We're just going to ask that these are cleared from whoever's watching for their highest good. clearing away if you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to be clear then do put it into the comments and um, I'll look at that one for you I'm getting it cleared It's still clearing away there so it's obviously uh, quite big stuff that needs clearing it queen of life level is like the um it's level of soul consciousness uh, equivalent to the womb equivalent to the womb there we have a king of kings level which is like the egg and sperm we have queen of life which is then like the souls in the womb and then we have lord of lords which is the first expression of the living soul these levels of consciousness Right, there we go. I could feel that changing then. Good stuff. Where are we going next? Uh, oh, we're still, still on 12. Still on 12. I didn't get everything from 12. So where else? Dysfunction of creative energy. 12 aspects of spirit as genetic coding. Anything else? Do we need any, Is there any pre-programming? No. So it's just clear all 12 aspects of spirit as genetic coding. Let's get that cleared. It's funny, I looked at that and I was... Um, I must have picked it up before um before finishing i was drawn to it so the 12 aspects of spirit is genetic coding these are 12 spiritual faculties that every soul is created with in the beginning so in the old testament uh, they are symbolized by the 12 tribes of israel and in the new testament by the 12 apostles And the apostles um, symbolise 12 spiritual faculties within mankind that need to be fully developed for the full expression of the Christ nature. So in the Old Testament, they were symbolised in a very simplistic way by the 12 sons of Jacob, Israel. They indicated the beginning development of the basic spiritual faculties, which are magnified and completed in the 12 apostles.
So Peter would be the pineal gland, faith, concern. Peter the rock, the pineal is in charge of the nervous system. Um, Bartholomew or Nathaniel would be the pituitary, the imagination, forgiveness. Matthew would be the hypothalamus, will, sympathy. Simon would be the medulla oblongata, which is about zeal, friendliness. It's amazing how it all comes together, isn't it? Philip would be the larynx, which is about power, wholeness. John would be about the heart, love, love of life. The affectionate nature. James the older would be about the solar plexus, wisdom, self-esteem. James the younger would be about the digestive system, order, abundance. Andrew would be about the lumbar sacrum area, the strength, love of self. Thaddeus would be about organs of elimination, renunciation, freedom. Thomas would be about feet and legs, understanding and sincerity. And Judas would be about organs of procreation, new life and self-forgiveness. Oh, there we go. Right, where are we going next? We are going to 15, which is the I Am Level Consciousness programs. And here we have Light Realm, Discordant Energy, War in Heaven, the I Am Level Consciousness. So let's just clear all of those. It's quite a fascinating system, this. I've learned such a lot through it. And even though it's not, I'm not christian at all but it's uh it's a very spiritual system so even though it's based on the bible you don't have to be um it, it's based on the spiritual nature of the bible you know rather than the religious if that makes sense so war in heaven signifies a duality a discord or a struggle between good and evil good and bad you know that duality one third of the hosts of heaven souls ate of the forbidden tree, which caused a duality to come into play. They are the one third that were cast out of heaven and took upon themselves a physical body. The first level of the soul's education was in Eden and the second level was through the physical body. Every soul that ate of the tree entered the consciousness of good and evil. And that signifies a war in consciousness. So remember that Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is within and within each of us is where the final battle between good and evil called Armageddon in the Holy Bible takes place. So it is basically about duality. Good and bad, positive and negative, you know, right and wrong. It's that duality that forms the ego. Lovely, that's done there. Chart 21, final items, this one universe. Uh, alpha to Omega search, clear and harmonize something else. Past lives, the soul doesn't want to examine. Let's get all those cleared. And again, we're not doing any research in this because uh, this is a group clearing. So we're just going to, we're just going through it very quickly and very sim simply, basically. But I know there's still uh, pa very powerful healings coming off these um, group clearings. So I hope they're helping you out there. I've had some fantastic feedback, so um, I know they are making a difference with people. Even if you're not feeling a difference, it's still working for you. It just depends. Everyone's having a unique experience. It depends what you're holding on to and, uh, and at how many levels, how many layers, how much emotional attachment there is. Anything else? No, that's great. So where are we going next? We are going down to da, 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 chart 28, which is final forgiveness. So we're nearly there. Integrate multiple programs in the conscious mind of one. Clear Godhead plans. Memory is the master key. And let's just clear all of those. Clearing all of those, please. Relating to poverty. For the highest good of everybody watching this.
I just came across um, a paragraph about Mary Magdalene. And it says she did not incarnate again, but many souls have her essence. Every person who has Mary Magdalene's essence has an anger program. I saw an inner picture of her standing at the foot of the cross and the fire of anger was coming out of her eyes. She was very angry because she knew Jesus had the power to save himself and he did not. She was angry at the apostles for not helping and at the soldiers who killed him. Simply ask that the anger program be cleared for anyone you find with her essence, is what it says. It's very interesting, isn't it? I think a lot of people who are uh, working as what, what we would call light workers or, or, you know, people with a very spiritual intention to help in this shifting of consciousness that we're going through, um, have that Mary Magdalene essence come across quite a few people like that. Um, yeah, it's very, very interesting. So let's just, uh, as that was brought to my attention, let's just ask that anyone that's watching that has the Mary Magdalene essence, and that includes myself here, uh, have any anger that's there removed, please, that's connected to that. Historically, ancestrally, other lifetime related, across all time and space and dimension. Yes, that jumped out there. So there's a reason that jumped out. So let's just have that anger cleared. Right, okay, that's that done there. Anything else before we go to mop up? No, can we go to mop up now? So let's go to mop up. So we're just going to do a quick mop up now, which is where the bulk of the clearing takes place by the teams on their side of life. Uh, I normally read a long list of, um, and I usually do a lot more in an individual clearing. We go through energy bodies and do a lot more research, ask lots more questions and go through a very thorough mop up process there. And I give them an affirmation to work with. But we're just doing a quick mop up because it's group clearing. And this is where the bulk of the clearing uh, will take place by the teams with their 200 plus charts. So uh, even though, you, you know, I'm just going through a few charts here, uh, there's an awful lot that gets cleared in the prep to work and in the mop up processes. So, uh, it could be a huge clearing, but but the research that I did could be very little. Um, but for some reason, I have to do it, some of the research. So there you go. Right. OK, so will that hold? Yeah. Is it done successfully and other teams happy with that? Yeah. OK. And where is it now? Poverty. 100% positive, 0% negative. And there are, any, are there any vows of poverty to clear? Have they been cleared automatically? Yeah. Again, fantastic. And where is it? Is it on here? Whoops, sorry um, about the camera. And here. And we're at Radiant Love New Paradigm level. So thank you for watching. Any questions, just pop them down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. And uh, so you don't miss out on any future clearings that I do. Um, I'm very happy to serve you. Have a really good day. Bye.